Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lesikho. If you're here for the first time, hello, welcome to the LSG gang. Like, okay, I'm still trying to figure out my 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 what's what 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 do you call it? My viewer's name or something like that, but let's not get into that. Anyways, I'm gonna be doing a look for a, a Twitter challenge that I saw today. So excited. Um it was very interesting and every every makeup artist is doing it and I was like, hey, let me join in the squad. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this look that I'm going to do for you. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a voiceover because I don't want to explain too much and waste your time. Um, enjoy this look, you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to share my video. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of the look. And if you guys want to check out other people's looks, I'm going to put in the hashtag on my description. Um, so you guys can check it out and see what this whole challenge is all about. But anyways, um, yeah. Enjoy the look, you guys. Um, see you guys on my next video. Bye. You're going to first go in with your Pro Conceal. Um, this is the color Porcelaine. I'm not really happy with this concealer, you guys, because um, it has the worst texture. But I don't even know if it's because it was still new when I used it. But I will tell you guys as I continue to do my makeup what it does. But anyways, I'm happy with the effect of the color because when you put on your eyeshadow on this type of a white um what can i call it um primer i'll just call it a primer it makes your eyeshadow appear way more better and it just helps with the color distribution as well it it's even and it just gives it a better look for some reason so i did see this on a lot of youtubers using a white primer to base their eyes, eyes with before they apply eyeshadow. And then as you can see I went in with a beauty blender to make sure that my concealer is well blended in and also just to make sure that it is ready for when I start doing my eyeshadow. So I'm not really sure what the name of this color is, but then I thought it was like a red, sandy, orange type of vibe. But applying it, it gave me a more of a burgundy vibe. So I just used this as my transition color. So this is the color that you use before you add on any other colors. So you need to make sure that when you use a transition color, the next color you use can't be lighter than this color because it won't make sense unless if it's the color that you're going to be using on your crease and it just stands out from your transition color. This is the color that you use to make sure that any other color that comes in is going to be able to blend in well with the whole look. So then as you guys, unfortunately you can't see the color properly, but then it is sort of like a goldish type of shimmer color. When you apply it directly onto your skin, it didn't really give me the vibe that I was looking for. Instead, it looked a bit um, matte. It didn't look as shiny as I wanted it to look. So I ended up going in using my setting spray that you guys will see. I used that and I sprayed it on the brush just so that it gives it a better effect like you guys will just see how it pops up it literally looks like a mirror on your eye <laughs> i wonder if the person looking directly at me can see the salts on my eyes <laughs> i doubt but anyways i did use that to distribute it all over my eyes it just comes up better so you know that next time if you want your shimmer to pop up more make sure that you use your setting spray don't worry about it getting ruined it's not gonna get ruined it's just gonna give you a better effect and the color is just gonna look way nicer than you originally intended it to so then I ended up going back in with the first eyeshadow brush that I was using just to make sure that I add more color to my 
decrease I wanted it I wanted it to be more effective so I did go back in and use the to blend it all over my eye again then using a smaller brush I went in and I used a white shimmer color I also did the same thing by spraying it with some setting spray to make sure that the effect is just as bright as the gold is because it would kind of look crazy to have it look a bit matte when the gold is like really out there. So make sure that you get into things and use that setting spray for more effect. I went offline and I did my eyelashes as you guys can see. So I went in with the Baby Skin Pore Eraser Primer. And that is what I'm going to use on my T-zone areas to make sure that I block all these pores that I have. These annoying pores. I don't really use it all over my face. I just use it in my T-zone area because that is where I wanted it to be more effective. I didn't really worry about the outside looking shabby because it's going to be covered anyways. And then I went in with the Insta... Oh wow whatever happened there um what it's the okay it's an essence foundation i will link it down below don't worry oh, i'm not gonna link it i'm gonna put it in my description i don't know where to get these links i'll check it out on the on, on google but yeah it's fine guys and I, I used a brush to distribute my foundation and then i went in with concealer to hide to to highlight my face this is in the color phone a legal as you guys can see I'm going to use that for all my highlighted areas As you guys can see, I went in using an eyeshadow brush to blend in my highlighter. It works better. It just shows the color even more. I didn't, I didn't use a lot of um, highlighter, so when you use an eyeshadow brush, it kind of helps with the product covering all these spaces. So it works better if you want to save product. Unlike the Beauty Blender, it literally sucks up everything. I'm just going to use that and blend my highlighter all over. I didn't want this... Um, tutorial to be very short so i wanted you guys to just go in through the look with me i hope you guys enjoy what you guys see are seeing so far if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please don't forget to do so we are growing guys we're almost at 200 so yeah i hope hopefully by the time i upload this video i would have hit that 200 mark slowly but surely you guys patience is everything and i hope that you guys are patient with me <laughs> I went and I applied my translucent powder just to set my highlighted areas and then I'm just going to go in and blend in my contour of which I use an LA Gold tube as well. I don't know which color it is that I use to do my contour but I will link it down below. I am going to look for all these products guys and I'm going to link them in for you guys to check them out. Okay, so y'all, I'm just going to blend that all over my face. Do you guys feel yourselves as well when you do your makeup? I always do. Anyways, I went in with the same foundation brush that I used to remove the excess powder. It works better because the color is still that foundation color so it doesn't really ruin the look. And because it's a still a bit wet from the foundation, it just makes it blend in way better. So I do prefer using that instead of using a beauty, like a, another brush that doesn't have any product on. Uh, as you guys can see, I went in with a flat brush to blend in my contour. It works way better than a normal brush, a bigger brush, because it's thinner and it's easier for you to just get in there and blend it in. Take your time whenever you guys are blending in your concealer because you don't want it to be too harsh, but you also don't want it to be invisible. So take your time and make sure that you are doing it until it satisfies you.
and then I went in with my setting spray you want to make sure that everything is sealed in I didn't know which lipstick I wanted to go to use or I didn't know which lipstick I wanted to use but anyways I went in with a red lipstick and let me just say that the foundation I used is not full coverage you guys can see everything is still popping and for some reason I do like foundations that are not full coverage because you still want to maintain that look that shows that you know what I'm not trying to be too fake but I am trying to be fake at the same time but really I am not trying to be like natural as well because trust me if I wanted to be natural I wouldn't be applying makeup so you're just gonna have to bear with me <laughs> just went in with the eyeliner first I use this to correct my mistakes when I use the gloss that's how I use it like later on after applying my lipstick and then I went in with a foundation guys to just correct those mistakes that I've made before because if you use something else you're just gonna smudge the lipstick and it, you're gonna look crazy and it's gonna be a lot of work to remove and apply again ah no man guys went in back with my foundation brush and then I use this Beauty Treats highlighter, guys. This highlighter is the bomb. As you guys can see, I'm literally glistening. I'm like a light bulb during the day. It looks fabulous, darling. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to cut this video here because my battery is literally dying. It's over for me. Um, anyway, this is my look. I'm going to... So this is the final look, you guys. I had to use my phone to record this last bit because my camera ran out of battery. Um, yeah, so this is the final look, you guys. I really prefer to use the camera quality because it shows so much better. But anyways, it's fine. I'll take pictures with the camera and you guys will let me know what you think. I look like a doll.